if you look at the history of science, what you see is that there is always a new revolutionary idea that comes along, and it usually takes between one and two generations for it to become accepted. Then once it becomes accepted, it becomes dogma, and anything that doesn't quite fit in it, well, it is now a new revolutionary idea. So what you've got is you've got the mainstream textbook explanations, and then you always have this body of anomalous data that doesn't fit in. And then you go 20 or 30 or 40 or 50 years in the future, and now that anomalous data has somehow been assimilated, and either into the existing framework or the existing framework has been modified or in some cases abandoned altogether to allow for the, the new data. But by the time the new data has been incorporated, now there is new data that's come along. See, So there's always this body of data that precedes the theoretical framework. Because I think that's exactly what we're seeing here. We're, we basically are seeing a theoretical framework regarding this flood that goes back to the 1940s and that, that emerged from the 1940s to the 1960s. And all of the new data that's emerged since then, you know, has not been incorporated yet into a, a coherent theory. Because for one thing, a lot of the data contradicts the, the prevailing theory, that you had this ice dam and a, you had a Yokel Alps and a draining lake. And uh, just in the same way, Brett's collected data between the 1920s and the 1940s that contradicted the prevailing theories of the day. So what happened is that a new generation of geologists came along and extended their thinking to encompass this new data. And yes, they accepted the flood, but then they embraced an explanation for the flood, which made sense at the time, more or less, but has become less and less credible with each passing decade. And more and more evidence is accumulated that's inconsistent with the now dominant textbook theory. And I think that we're on the verge of perhaps another paradigm shift where we begin to look at, look at um, alternate explanations for what happened here. Well, let's proceed. <laughs>